In a new report, the Inspectorate of Government, IGG, has exonerated two former ministers of a mismanagement of Chogam process. Former State Minister for Local Government, Hope Mwesije, and then Security Minister, Amama Mbabazi, were not found culpable of influence peddling in the 2007 Chogam decoration project. The report states that the investigations showed no proof of culpability on the part of Mbabazi as stated in the Public Accounts Committee PAC report of May 2010. Mwesije, who chaired the Beautification and Decorations Committee, was said to have contracted a company in which she had interests. We did not find any sort of influence peddling. We discovered that uh, Honorable Hope Mwesije, who was the chairperson of the Beautification Committee, came in to guide the decoration because they had experts from Malaysia who they were working with to design how the, 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 the venues would look like. And that was her role. Mbawazi, who is now Prime Minister, was the Minister for Security at the time. On the part of Honorable Mama Mbabazi, there was actually nothing, only an overseer. He came in, he came in as, a, as an overseer. According to the IGG report, the procurement process was not followed as stipulated in the PPDA Act because the decorations venue was a last-minute decision reached after the approval of Chogam budgets. So we find that uh, the mistakes that were occasioned due to the procurement was due to time constraints and not deliberate. On whether there was financial loss in the decorations project and was responsible, the IGG says. Out of the investigations, we discovered that even this case is in court and no payment so far has been made to the decorators. So we shall leave that case uh, to be handled in court and uh, probably wait for the outcome thus far. Messenger was not found to have been involved in the identification, solicitation, negotiation and award of contracts. Therefore, no prosecution or disciplinary action will be taken against her or any other person involved. The IGG recommends that the payment to the decorators should be determined by the High Court through ongoing suits. Maurice Chow, NTV, tonight.